So we've got Game Maker here since a bunch of people in my last two videos are now saying that, hey, you can't be doing this. Pirate Software didn't make his game in Unity. You're making this in Unity. He made his game in Game Maker, so it's completely different. There's no similarities. There's a lot of similarities between game engines, between this game engine, between Unity, and between Unreal Engine. Okay, so within about one minute, I followed a three minute YouTube tutorial. I'm only a minute into it, but we're already making a script in Game Maker, which they have this little node thing. We create an object, we create the event, and then here we're gonna create the script. So we go down to scripts, right click, and then do create script. There we go. And then we'll code this. Now, since I don't know Game Maker language, like right off the back of my hand and all of its, you know, quirks and intricacies, yeah, I'm going to cheat again, this time not for a for loop, but I'm going to use AI to convert all of my Unity code over into Game Maker code. And we'll see who's right or who's wrong, whether this works or not, or it doesn't. Okay, so here's where I have to admit some sort of things, uh, some sort of defeats, right? I was wrong about uh, Game Maker. I thought it was more like Unreal Engine or Unity. I thought it would be more like Unity, honestly. But even in Unreal Engine, you have an inspector where you can make arrays and arrays within arrays and arrays of arrays and things like that. In Game Maker, apparently, you just can't. Basically, everything has to be hard coded because the inspector is only for just inspecting scripts and things like that. And all it does is this kind of helps you move around game maker so i'll admit defeat there but what i won't admit defeat over is that programming an entire array by each element index is a smart idea that's just not good programming it's not good practice it's it's okay again eight years ago if he was a brand new game developer if he had no experience at blizzard if pirate software never worked at blizzard for seven years and never talked about it a million times if he never was a hacker and talked about that a billion times if he never wrote code that that he claimed was pristine and and uh tv shows like mr robot were stealing if, if he wasn't just a jackass about all of that i would be forgiving him but i'm not forgiving him because he claims he is super smart he he grew up at blizzard if you grew up at blizzard blizzard should have taught you this i don't care people said he went to school guess what i didn't go to school so why the heck doesn't he know this right okay enough ranting about that anyways if i run this watch pool not to joe value 10 so now we have the location we have the event by name and then the value to do something with it so ideally in this game he would change this value to do something with it well well it's not fully modded right but you would you would make variables and you get the idea you you would continue on from this point to where you don't have to uh but e even at this point, you don't have to uh, do what he does. See, because I can move around my <laughs> variables. He can't. Even though this is hard-coded. So this is what I was trying to show you guys. Even though this is hard-coded, I can move it around now. And I still find the same thing I was looking for. Where's my function that looks for it? Example C. Yeah, so I still find pool and not to Joe, and then I get the value from it. So I found pool not to Joe, and then the value. And it doesn't matter, again, where it is. I can move it around. Pirate software can't move his code around, guys. That's the simplest way to put this. If you're still confused, he can't modify his code. If you do it the right way, as I'm showing here, again, you can. That's it, that's it, that's all we're saying. It's very simple to understand. You can take his side if you want. Apparently, it's because it's an ARG or whatever. Again, you don't need to initialize it by each index and make it super freaking confusing for it to be an ARG. That I'm going to go ahead and agree with the people saying that this guy just thinks he's playing 4D chess all the time by just lying. There's no ARG. He, if, the, if the ARG is you need to decompile his code that's super hard to figure out after you've decompiled it and that he, he did all this confusing stuff to make it easy, that doesn't make sense. This makes it easier to decompile. In fact, I when I was converting this using ChatGPT, it was like, hey, bro, why don't we just use a JSON? I was like, no, 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 we can't use a JSON. Everyone will freak out because then that's basically what he's doing. He could have just used a JSON, done the same exact thing, or just done something like this where you loop through the JSON and you have everything listed out like this and you can search for the tag instead of an index. That's the big thing. He's searching for a number his entire game. He has to go back and reference numbers. If you do this properly, you only have to reference the location and then the event name. And now I can have as many events as I want 
her location, which again, he can't do as well, right? And I can say ride, um, ride slide. And then, so I can just keep going and going and giving all these different values and stuff, but he can't do any of that. He has to list each thing out and comment it, which is just rookie as heck. Okay, anyways, I'm done. Bye.